Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see three different programs. One is using a simple if state if programming and then if else and then a nested if and all of these we are going to see in K6 uh, load testing or K6 tool. And this will definitely help you in case if you are uh, someone who is using the K6 performance testing and if you are looking for some uh, tutorials on how to use the if statements so before we move on to this video this is me yosan shanmukam i welcome you all to our little Sly youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, comment your questions and feedback in the comment section and please consider joining my channel so you can get uh, continuous videos a more quality content like this and yeah with no further delay let's go to the video so firstly uh, i'm going to so I can even take you to the nested if uh, and even the if else, but I wanted to just start with a very basic if so that you can understand how to start and what are all the libraries that you have to import and how to write a function, uh, mainly an if function, because this if function we all know uh, in several scenarios, so we might need uh, this if statement. Either this can be used as your assertion, which is a text check, or even you can use it. Uh, for referring some conditions and then based on that you can write your next step so this if condition will definitely help you in any of your scenarios while you are writing your test so just understand the basics of how does the if statement works when it comes to the uh, k6 performance testing so firstly initially we have to start with the i mean uh, the main thing is uh, whenever we want to run any http as any web application we have to use the http library so we are uh, importing the http library from k6 http and then the second part is the checking so mainly it's it's about the assertion so we have to use the check or whenever we are using the if condition we, are, we can use this check library from k6 so that's about the first two lines so firstly we have imported the http uh, library and then we have imported the check and then coming back to the fourth line in this script, so we have exported a default function. And under this function, I'm writing a first statement, which is I'm saving the response of my web page. So if I am testing, if, or if I'm hitting this URL with a get request, and I'm saving that value in the let response. So the value response and then uh, I'm checking the status of this response if for example uh, I'm hitting this URL uh, let me just click click the follow link and this will take me to the to the application so if you see here so this is the page it is taking me to and here uh, if I'm, I'm adding the condition that if the response status that is if this page load successfully then we'll get a response status as 200 so in that case i will get a message that the page loaded successfully and then i'm even adding a check response that if the status is 200 then i will uh, like i'll return this uh, if the status is 200 then i'll uh, return as status is 200 so yeah so this is again a very simple a uh, very basic one a very basic uh, script in terms of uh, using it with the if uh, condition so let's now execute uh, this JS file the JavaScript file and let's see uh, what does it uh, respond or what does the response is so to run a k6 uh, file we all know we have to use k6 and then run uh, and the file name is simple if dot js and now yeah so the test is completed successfully so if you see uh, yeah the page loaded successfully and i've got i'm just uh, running it with like just one user with one iteration and here you can see the response times and then yeah so mainly uh, i have tested this to validate my page whether it is working fine and this is again a very basic if condition so now i'll move on to the second one second example in this video and that's a if else so it's all same uh, starting from importing your library files and then your function where you are saving your response and then under the response we are adding a condition that if the response status is 200 then i'll get a message that the page loaded successfully or else if 
the response status is 404 then i will get a console message that the page not found and then if i'm getting anything else then i'll get a message with the request failed with the status code along with the response status and then again at the end i'll check the response whether it is uh, 200 then i'll return it as 200 so yeah so now let's move to the so yeah just to uh, let you know so the if so again the intent intendation is very important here so the else if and the else comes inside the if so also always make sure that you are writing your uh, else if condition and your else condition inside your if because if it if in case it if it comes out outside the if condition or outside the scope of the if, if the if condition then there are reason the there are chances that our code might not work properly or it might not work as expected so just make sure that you are running uh, in a proper manner and uh, yeah so let's run the script so again let, let me just do a quick recap uh, so i'm going to test the response of the page with the get request and if it is 200 that is if it is like loaded successfully then i'll get a message that the page is loaded successfully if not if it is a 404 then i'll get a page not found yeah so let, let's try all these uh, options so for that i'll have to run uh, the file so again it's k6 and then if minus else.js So now if you see uh, we have got a message that the page loaded successfully that is in line eight so let me i'll go i'll do one thing so i'm just removing action uh, the end at the end so that i'll this will trigger a different page or this will uh, hit a different uh, request and let's now try this one so let me go file save and let's see what kind of response does it gives us because this is again to test all the boundary conditions like the if the else or the if else and let me go back yeah so if you see here uh, i have got a page not found because this page actually is not found so we are getting the page not found so this is again a classic example of how does the if and how does the else the else if condition work so it's not like if and else uh, if else it's like if and then else if and then it's an else at the last so yep so i think so far we have covered the simple if condition and then we have covered the if else which mainly is if and else if and then finally else so if you are writing it for like only just two, then you can write it as like if and then only else. So it's like if else condition. And then moving on to the last one. So here I'm going to take you to the nested if so, which is like there will be one if inside another if condition. And this will definitely help you because in several scenarios, we'll be writing code where we have to test multiple if conditions. So in those scenarios, this will definitely help you. And again, like I'm telling you, the indentation is very important so like if you see here um the nested if which is the if in there's a if inside the another if condition and if the page loaded successfully then i will check for the response body which includes the fish and if it is again there so the pay so i'll return a message that the page contains the fish category and then the console log tells me that oh, in case if it is not there then the uh, then i'll get a message that the page does not contain the fish category so this way uh, we can create uh, more like more and more if else and else if so in case even if we want to add another condition like else if inside this i can even add it with a proper intendation and yeah so let's now run this script and let's see how does the nested if works so to run the script uh, it's k6 run and then it's going to be nested if yeah so the test has completed successfully and let's now see um, yes yeah, so if you see here the page has loaded successfully and it contains the page the page contains the fish category so this is how uh, we do the testing using the if condition by using the k6 and in case if you have any doubts uh, in fact we will see i am just planning to run uh, Azure DevOps load test even using um, the K6 and in fact we'll plan uh, a test using the GitHub action. So by doing all these we can do a shift left testing which is like a continuous integration testing or continuous uh, development or continuous testing along with the development team. So this will definitely help you to integrate your code inside to your team so that uh, all the basic testing and even the load testing also can be performed. So we'll see that in an upcoming video and for that Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Little Sla YouTube channel. Please share uh, 
the videos with your friends your peers your colleagues and then don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and um uh, yeah again uh until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite little slaw youtube channel bye bye